Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today I've got a long list of items that I want to get completed. I've already done a couple of things. Um, so I took all of the boards that were down here, I took them upstairs and just divided them between rooms. Um, I'm making some coffee, I need to take my medicine, but today is going to be like electrical, painting, cleaning, just a variety of stuff. Just thought we could hang out for the day. So I started working on this at 9.30 last night in the dark. Mm, yeah, it just, I want it off my mind, really. That's just all there is to it. So something's not working. It's a three-way switch. They never work for me on the first go. And it's connected to that switch on the other side of the wall that's a double switch. Do they come in three-way switches? Does one side have a three-way? We don't know. We're not electricians. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull this back out, see if my wiring is correct. If it is, then that means I did something wrong. Let's test it first. Not working. Not working. Turning off the electricity to this light. <laughs> Need coffee. Before we get into doing this, I want to show you what I picked up from the dollar store. Um, you know, I do gingerbread. Everybody does gingerbread now, but whatever. Somebody went in and wiped out all but one of these, and these are little LED wire lights. You just get 10 little gingerbread houses. They're adorable. Have to have them. Like them. How many do I need? Two. So, on the hunt for more of those. They should be unboxing them this weekend. They had a bunch of boxes. Somebody wiped out most of these, so I grabbed what was left. But I need one more for my tablescape. And it says, I'm here for the cookies. So I have three of those. I need one more, and I can use these on my table. Okay, I'm going to go have some coffee, and then I'm going to do electric. <laughs> Another project I want to do around the house is to replace the door casings where the dog peed and the MDF swelled. This is just MDF, but I bought it thinking I could polyurethane it, paint it, I don't know, uh, because I also thought about getting pine, I just don't know, I don't know, but anyway. So, you know, you grab one of these, you put it up against where it's going to go, you mark the bottom, you mark the top, that tells you where to cut your 45. First, we have to get the other one off, but I'm still trying to decide if I want to do MDF again, prime it, paint it, just at that bottom, let that show, or if I want to go get pine. And let me show you what I'm trying to get rid of. Little Mister has been doing very good holding his peepees overnight. Um, and then I put a diaper on him this morning after we got back in. Yeah, within the hour he peed in it. So I took him outside. He did a little peepee. -pee. I just don't know what to do. Anyway. I'm sure I've shown you this stuff before, but this is like areas where he's peed. So this is why I got pine boards, and this is also why I got four and a quarter, 
so it wouldn't get on that wall and just get all behind there and ruin it. Pine is much stronger. I'm going to polyurethane and paint that. But I'm going to go see if I can find, I believe this is three and a quarter. That's your average casing size. So I'm going to go see if they have it in pine at Home Depot, Lowe's, somewhere like that. And I'll come back. All right. Haul time, haul time, haul time, haul time. <sighs> All right, so as I left off, I said I wanted to replace this casing. I didn't know if I wanted to do the whole side or just do a patch job. So I decided on a patch job. I also decided that I was just going to get a piece of pine, cut it, use some wood glue, put it in there, dap it to fill that crease, hopefully, sand it, paint it, have a great day. So, I went by Home Depot and got a two and a quarter uh, piece of pine casing in the same, same sort of structure that I have here. Um, just your basic, basic casing. All right, then I went to Walmart. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Well, because there's this really cool tool and it's called a multi-tool and you can put different things on it and get things done real quick. Like, how am I going to hacksaw that without hitting the baseboard that just was put in? Do we... It, without messing up the door. What are we going to do? Well, we got a multi-tool. And it has an end on it where you can just go right in. That's showing it in drywall. And this is wood. So I did get the, the wood cut blade. Okay. And it goes with this one. So, we're going to do that to get the pieces out. Then, I got some waterproof wood glue. Um, it's waterproof. Open time up to 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, it's 100% waterproof. It's for all weather, our most durable wood glue. It's for indoor, outdoor, I guess. I don't know. But it's just Gorilla wood glue because I'm going to cut my pieces, put wood glue on there, kind of glue it in place. Then I'm going to take my... These aren't the right ones. I didn't think so. I'm going to go back, take these back, and get 60. I need 60 nails for this. And I wasn't sure, and I Googled it, and it said, just get a common nail. Well, we're not. We're getting what we're supposed to have, which should be a, four, a 60. This is a 4D. I mean, I could probably use it, but I'd rather have what I should have. Um, then I got a punch nail set kit. So what you do is you just take this end and you tap it on the nail head and that just puts that nail just a little bit below the surface. Take a little dap, fill it in, sand it, get it smooth. Can't even tell there was a nail there. Guess how many of these baseboards I have to do that? <laughs> All of them. Also have to patch where they joined two of them and didn't cough, didn't do anything, just left it. Mm. Okay. Um, then I got a caulking tool, should I need to caulk. I don't know that I'll use this today, but definitely when I go to redo my bathroom caulking that needs to be taken up and redone, we're going to need this. It's like three bucks. It's no big deal. Got some caulk. 
uh, crack resistant, reduced dirt pickup, won't shine through paint, multi-surface use, waterproof seal, easy water cleanup and low order, odor, interior and exterior. So I don't know that this will be the one that I use in my bathroom because I want a more flexible one because I've noticed it's cracking away from the walls. I don't know what they used. Oh, this says for baseboards, windows, doors, molding, trim. Oh, okay. That must be what I got it for in case I needed to caulk to get the... Okay. I didn't know what I got it for. Uh, I got some of this. It's clean release because the paint, <clears throat> the two inch that I have now is pulling up my paint. Might be that it's just old and gummy. I don't know. Just got another one because I'm going to have to paint all these baseboards. Yeah, so I need it. Got another two inch angled brush, the best. These are the best. And then <clears throat> I got a two-inch angled brush with a short handle just to, you know, get me in those tight spots. <coughs> and that is it. My allergies, sorry. <coughs> um, that's all that I got. <laughs> so now I want to work on these casings and cut out the ruined part start cutting pieces to match, take those pieces and polyurethane them and paint them and put them on. That's so great. Now I could polyurethane and paint this all as one. I'm not sure that I wanna do that. Do I wanna do that? Seems like it would be easier and then all I'd have to do is touch up. I might do that. <laughs> we'll go outside. What do you want to go outside? Oh, I don't want to go outside. I'm going to have a bowl of Count Chocula first. <laughs> Let's literally not sit and watch paint dry. All right. So, um, I used my multi-tool. I was able to cut. I'll show you all that in a minute. But then when you go to pull it off, it's just wet ruined MDF. It's peeling off. I need something better. So I got pry bar set. I'm going to try and just use this little one, see if I can get anywhere with that. It was a better deal than getting a big long one for eight. We don't have anything that major going on. Oh, I got a Pepsi. Okay. And then I took my nails back and got 60 nails. They're huge, but you, you know, these should be through a stud. We, we don't. We don't know. <laughs> so, let's go look at what I've destroyed. <laughs> it's so fun! I like my multi-use tool. <laughs> I'll show you how I use it in a minute. All right, so I took the multi-use tool and just put it in there, turn it on, it vibrates, it cuts it, whatever. Um, and then I was trying to use like screwdrivers and the end of the hammer. It's just, it's just, it's shredding. Um, so we're going to try the pry bar. Let's see how that goes. gonna try this little one see what happens much better my goodness oh, that is so much better Mikey. Thank you very much. Let's see, do I just keep since it's working? Let's see where some of it's pulling away. 
Okay. And there you have it. All nice and wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that up. We can do that together. it's my first time using this multi-tool and replacing a baseboard <laughs> I'm being very easy on how far I'm going in that's it because you know look at all the glue look at all the glue this is old caulking right here hold on let's use the caulking tool uh, it won't get under there. How do you get under there? <laughs> Maybe you go this way. Okay, I don't want to pull it too much further than that. I do want to pull out these nails because I'm going to be using new ones. So this... It's supposed to be a nail puller, but it has no head. So what do you do? There we go. Nice rusty nail there. There was one there. need to pull this off, I would guess, but it looks like drywall. Yeah, it is. So I'm going to have to fill that in with putty or something so that it can be even here and then nail it in. But it already looks so much better. Okay, I'll be back. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but I have the dap in there to fill that. And I just took my caulk and ran it down that side and ran it down right here. And I'm getting ready to paint it and this baseboard. Yeehaw! Okay, I'm not sure if any of that recorded, but I was painting it. Doing all that, I decided not to put a nail in it because it's at the bottom. What's the point? It's not the best, but I guess I'll learn as I go. I also need to fill in these nail holes with the dap. But I just wanted to get some paint on there and see what it was going to look like. How notice it'll be. Noticeable. It will be. Let me get up here. Can you really tell from up here? I mean, you can, but who's looking? Is anybody looking? Gee, you gotta use your bathroom. Okay, there it is. Wow, what'd you do to your baseboard? <laughs> what'd you do to your door casing? Sure does look like crap. Yeah. All right, so that is it for today's video. I am just gonna continue to do that and figure out ways to make it look better. Um, if it really bothers me, I'll probably just take the whole casing off and put another piece up. <laughs> Great. All right. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I'd love gaining new friends. And until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Bye.